Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the settings that I personally use for Assetto Corsa Competizione and the Fanatec DD1. The recommended settings on Fanatec are reasonable, but I find that these give me a better overall feel for the car. So please feel free to experiment. So I've been using the DD1 for a little over a month. Initially, I didn't feel it offered much more than the CSW, but changing the settings around a little bit has helped there. I find now that I get a lot more feel and I am definitely better able to catch a slide with the cars. So with all that being said, let's now have a look at the settings I use, starting with Fanalab. Go to your system tray and click Fanalab. Then go to the tuning menu. And then we put in the following details. So I run with the maximum steering angle of 850, but anything from 750 to 1080 seems to be reasonable. I just like to have a slightly more direct steering than the Fanatec recommendations give me. We then have overall FFB strength of 60%. We keep the force feedback scaling as peak, so we don't want linear. We have natural dampening of 15%. We do not use natural friction or natural inertia. We have the interpolation filter of set as free. Force feedback intensity 100. I actually had that as 90 for a while, but 100 is good too. We have game force feedback strength 100%, game spring strength 100, game dampener strength 100. We have the brake level indicator off. Also, because I'm using the Formula V2 wheel, I have const as my multiple positional switch setting. So once they're all set, let's go into game profile and save this profile. So we've got it available to us. Then we want to make sure that we've got the profile gold ticked under default. So that will then automatically load when Fanalab detects that we are in a set of course of competition. If you're not running Fanalab, then you can apply the same settings on your wheel. However, I do highly recommend that you run Fanalab because it offers you the ability to have multiple profiles. So if you wanted to have a different profile per car, it also allows you to play around with things like your LEDs. So definitely recommend having that installed. Next up, we go into a set of course of competition, options, controls, and from here we can set our force feedback. I use 60% with a minimum force of zero, dynamic dampening of 100, road effect zero, keep the frequency at free, free, free. Steering lock I have as close as I can mirroring what I have in Fanalab, which is 800 degrees. In this case, it's 801 because ACC is fun when it comes to trying to adjust that. Steering linearity one and yeah, you know, the other things aren't necessarily related to our wheel. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, these are the settings that I use in Fanalab and ACC. So hopefully you find these settings enjoyable. If you don't and you use something different, please leave a comment below because it'll help the community massively. Thank you. I've added these settings to the description of the video so you don't have to try and remember or pause the video as you go through and add these to the game. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment to tell us about your experience with ACC using these settings. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, bye for now.